To start this one off, I just quickly applied a bit of a lighter foundation to even out my skin a bit and create a better base for the colors to go on. And then using three eyeshadows from Sugar Pill, I laid down the white on the inner corner of my eyes and blended that out into yellow and then orange, where I pulled the colors out to create a winged shape. You've got to know. Taking an angled liner brush, I better defined the shape of the eyeshadow and pulled the orange in a bit to frame the lighter colors. And then I just sketched out a double crease above that and blended upwards with the orange and yellow. And let it burn, let it burn. I pulled the same colors underneath my eye along the lower lash line, stopping about three quarters of the way in and blended it out. Then I quickly darkened my brows so they would match my wig later on. With a matte liquid liner, I created a cat eye wing on my upper lash line. And then for the inner corners, I drew in three triangle shapes that reminded me of pumpkin carving. And I just filled those in. With a black eye pencil, I filled in my upper and lower water lines. And then moving back to the yellow shadow from before, I began applying this across my cheeks and nose, kind of like an anime blush, but yellow. And then I just colored that around my face as well. Following this, I gave myself some four spirit makeup flashbacks and followed the contour areas around my face with the orange. I packed a little bit extra on the bottom of my nose to bring a bit more color to the center of my face as well, and then just applied it heavily along the cheekbones and jawline. With the matte white shadow, Taco from Sugar Pill being the best white shadow I've ever owned, I applied this to highlighted areas of my face by packing it on. Then to create a more youthful appearance, I just really wanted to throw in some orange freckles with my water activated face paint and a detail brush. If you want me to, cause we can Ignore the lips here. I fixed them later on, so I just didn't even acknowledge that I did this. But I also added white freckling in with the orange just to give a little bit more dimension. This part is just pure fun. I wanted to incorporate the Halloween feel of a haunted forest. So with my water activated black paint, I painted some tree branches by allowing my brush to take them where they may. This is kind of like veining, but your movement, it can be a bit more choppy. So some angles are strong and others are soft. I also pulled the branches into my eye makeup and brows to make the look flow a little bit better. If at some point you start feeling like a tiger, then you are on the right path. When I was happy with the trees, I needed to add some black shadow to the edges of my face, so it looked like the branches were coming out of some creepy shadows. I quickly added some better definition to the eyes with that same black, and then properly did my lips, in which I applied a neutral lipstick all over them and used a black liquid lipstick in the center of my lips and smudged it out. And that concludes my face makeup for now, so on to the chest. And yes, don't worry, I have a tube top on. <laughs> I used a yellow water activated paint to base out my jack-o'-lantern and found an expression I liked. And then I followed that with my orange eyeshadow and orange face paint to carve out the parts of the pumpkin you would see and shade those areas. In the very center of the eyes, I added a white shadow to try and reference the candle that would be inside casting the most light. I then outlined the mouth with the same water activated face paint and created the pumpkin sections by adding lines towards the center and shading those the same way as the eyes. The night lay waste all we give I again added in that white to the top part of the mouth for the candle light. And then I went around the outside of the pumpkin with the yellow and orange eyeshadows before going over with the black just to create a better fade. I filled in the entire pumpkin with my black water activated face paint. And then on the stem, I did the same, but faded it down into that little bit of shadow I had. And then I used the same paints to go over my neck, shoulder, ears, and blended it in a little bit more with the black shadow. 
I wanted to add a few little bats along my forehead, so with a little detail brush and the black face paint, I just added those in at the top, creating a little V and then adding the wings to make it pretty simple. The last thing to do was add in my contacts, throw on some lashes, and add my wig. And then I also just threw on a little pair of horns that I made and have my DIY coming for you tomorrow since they are super easy to make and can be adapted to any costume. But that is it for my personification of Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next video.